everybody. Welcome to Date Makers, the game show where we are all about making dates. We're going to make a love connection today. My name is Kate, and I am here with our bachelor. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? This is Steve. Steve's our bachelor. He's going to be picking from these lovely ladies today. Steve resides in Manion, Philadelphia. He's a graduate of KU, Kutztown University. Oh. He's currently studying law at Widener University, so you're going to be a, a big shot lawyer, huh? Hmm, nice. Steve likes girls with a good sense of humor, natural beauty, and ambition. I think we might have some girls that fulfill those qualities today. His turnoffs are smokers and girls who think they are all that. So I guess I'm out on the run. <laughs> Steve also likes to work out in his spare time. Can we see your guns? Okay. We'll save the guns for later. All right, well, let's turn it over and meet my co-host in The Bachelorette. How's everybody doing tonight? My name is Matt. We have three Bachelorettes tonight, and I'm going to introduce you guys to them. Bachelorette number three, what is your name? Courtney Grant. And what is your favorite piece of lingerie? Oh, my God. I'm a... On a guy. On a guy? I don't like anything on a guy. Perfect. <laughs> Bachelorette number two, name and what is your ideal man's trait? One trait. Alexis Torres. Um, gosh, ideal trait. I want the whole package. So do we. We all do, don't we? <laughs> and we got Bachelorette number one. Name and where are you from? Oh, easy. Okay. Kristen Aldrich, and I'm from Maryland. That's the only easy thing you will get all evening. <laughs> all right. We also have an audience rep, and I'm going to kick it over to her right now. Hey, my name is Jen, and I'm here with my fabulous audience. Audience, let me get that. <laughs> Date Makers is all about playing games. So we're going to play several different games of Steve's choice, all adding up to points in the very end. But there's also a little VIP card. I'm going to give this to you right now. Take your VIP necklace. At the very end of the game, or near the end of the game, Steve is going to have a chance to give his heart to one of these young ladies and give her a little advantage as far as the final points go. And there's also one more little catch. Matt, can you tell us about that? Yeah, the little catch, if you look at each one of these single ladies on the wrist, they have a band. That is a steel pass. So if anyone has uh, one of their games, if they come up and if one of the bachelorettes thinks that they can do whatever the other bachelorette did better, then you throw out your steel band and then you can steal that person's points. But the catch is, if you still have your steel pass, at the end of the game, you get deducted two points. Wah, 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 you don't wah. want that. You don't get that. So you got to be risky. got to be a risk taker for date makers. All right. I think we're going to get the game started. So, Steve, take a look at the board. What game do you want to play? It's in the stars. All right. Total All right. package. Here you are. Bachelorette number two. You're going to read this. We're going to play in the stars. Let's find out how much it's worth. We are playing in the stars. In the stars is worth two points. All right. Two points. Steve, tell him. Ooh. Virgo. In incorrect answer. The changes? The horoscopes did just change. Accor according to our our. I haven't records. read Seventeen magazine in a while, so I really don't know <laughs> what's going on right now. now. Uh, you like to try and steal? Yeah. Aquarius. And I think Aquarius always trumps that Virgo. What are you? He's an Aquarius. You're an Aquarius. Oh, well, then what's, what's the question? You win. Aquarius matches with Aquarius. I think two points goes to Courtney. I believe that's two. Courtney! It's all around the board. Let's pick another game. Steve, what do you want to play next? You guys are all winners in my book right now. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Don't Talk About It. Don't Talk About It. And that goes to Bachelorette number three. And that is worth three points. Don't talk about it. All right, Bachelor number three. In this charades style game, the contestant, that would be you, must act out the phrases on this card and get the Bachelor to guess it in 30 seconds or less. So, Steve, let's see. shield your eyes, Steve. You, you can't cannot look. see. You're not allowed to look. This everyone. is the charade phrase, ladies. Okay. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, okay. All right. Everybody got it? 
All right, that's right, number three. All right, in 30 seconds or less. Timer is set. Okay. Let's go. All right, ready? All right, straight it up. Ready? Heart, love, blind, blind love, love is blind. Oh, wow! wow. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I gotta learn some rings when I go out to the bar from now on. Connection already. All right, three points goes to Bachelorette number three. (laughs) And she's taking a commanding lead here. All right. All right, Kate, what do we have for the next game here? All right, we're ready to play our next game. It's going to be going to Bachelorette number one. It's your turn. Steve, what game will she be playing? Uh, Let's go with Till Death Do Us Props. Oh, that's my favorite. And that is worth three points, because it's the hardest game there is, ladies. So Death to Us Props is actually an all-play, so everybody's going to get a chance to get in on this game. Steve, Bachelor, can you come on? Do the honors. Ladies, we are on a deserted island, and we fell in love. But you have no ring to make your proposal. Well, that's not. Why would you propose to me? <laughs> <laughs> there are modern-day women over here at Date Makers. <laughs> I guess you're just that in love. Using one of these props, give me your best marriage proposal. All right, ladies. Everybody right, gets a this prop. This is an all-play here. Bachelorette number one, I think, will begin with you. Okay. Steve, from the moment we met, you caught my heart. <laughs> and now I'm going to catch yours. Will you marry me? Catch his what? <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Nice. Bachelorette number two. What do you, what do you got in here, number two? <laughs> and to some people, that's the whole package. Oh, here we go. Will you marry me? <laughs> Yes, I will. <laughs> it's so well. All right. Bachelorette number three. Let's see what you got. Um, after breaking through all the scumbags in this town, <laughs> I came lot. across one diamond in the rough. Steve, will you marry me? Aww. Aww. That, was, that was good. All right. Well, we're going to give three points to contestant number three. She is gone, girls. We are halfway through. You guys still have a chance. <laughs> oh, you can hold on to that if you'd like to. I think they might need to hold on to those props for a little while. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, we're only halfway through. There is still, there's still a chance for love for any of you beautiful <laughs> young ladies. Steve, all right, where are we going next? we got three games. What do you want to play? Well, I love Chinese food, so let's go with the fortune cookie. Ah, uh, uh, the fortune cookie. I never get it with one. And that's why it's only one point. <laughs> you don't get good ones? I get good ones all the time. No, I had one that said you're going to have a great weekend, and my weekend was horrible. So. Um, yeah, in bed. Oh, oh in bed, okay. In bed. Still that, was horrible. That changed everything. This question just got better. All right, here we go. Question number two. You just ate my fortune cookie. Now tell me what the message inside said as it relates to you and I. You stole his fortune cookie. So I'm angry too. So I gotta make <laughs> You really gotta make it up to him, Bachelorette number two. What is his fortune? Our fu- our future is bright and wonderful. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible nice, until that last little nice. part. <laughs> very nice. All right, so one point goes to Bachelor number two, unless somebody's going to try and steal from her. I don't know. What are you ladies thinking? That leaves you number one. Bachelor number three is out of the stealing game. She's oh, stealing. Oh, she's going to go like for it. a steal. All right, audience, what do you think? She's going to steal. Okay. <laughs> um, you and me are in the stars, which will always be in my heart. In bed. In bed. <laughs> <laughs> bed. Alright, they got that idea. <laughs> Sounds I, like a nursery rhyme or something. Do have to, does the audience get to pick that? I think, I think the any audience, audience yeah. I, I, think I think we're going to shoot over to the audience right yeah. there, huh? <laughs> and we're back to the audience. Alright, so we have beginning with the, the stars, right? 
two games. Wait, read my mind. We're all in the brain right now, so which game do you want to play? Let's go with, uh, with, with Read My Mind. Read My Mind. Let's see what she's worth. We got another two-pointer here. Two points. And I think it's on The Bachelorette number three. One of these dates is Steve's dream date. If you pick his dream date, you get two points. <laughs> Does Steve want to have breakfast in Paris under the Eiffel Tower? Uh, I, I do, so if that's yours, then maybe we should Obviously, go. Obviously, that's not this. Does he want to go rock climbing at Crystal Lake? Or C, walking the Great Wall of China, holding hands. Oh. Hmm. Well, I know I would want to go rock climbing, so I'm hoping that's what he would want to do, too. Ding, 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 that's the correct answer. Rock climbing at Crystal Lake. Now, do you actually know? Have you been rock climbing? No, I just really want to go. So I think we can also test your athleticism. I would. Yeah. Yeah. It's really sexy right, when well, someone falls and breaks a leg, and then you gotta call it Ian. <laughs> well, I'll keep going up. I'll catch him later. You're the damsel in distress. All right. All right. So. Test number three. Murdering it over there. <laughs> Two points. All right. Well, this is our last game, so you don't get any more picking. I'm picking for you. This is what I like to do. I'm a woman in control. We are going to play GPA. Are you ready, Bachelor at number one? Yes. The Bachelor told us that he doesn't like an airhead, so he'd like to know your GPA before dating you. We're going to give you a quiz, and you're going to get one point for each answer. Now, there is still one steal in place, just saying. I'm not an Einstein or anything, but I think it's... All right. First category is science. We are going back to school. Do you know, Bachelor number one, what elements do trees produce? Oxygen? That is correct. Ding, ding, ding. One point for Bachelor number one. All right. Next to the second question. Spelling. Can you spell the word, you spell it your own Monotonous. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, if she does get this one wrong, if she gets this wrong, the bowling out so that we can have a steal here, possible. All right, all right. It's possible, possible steal, but let's see if she's got it in her. Okay, monotonous. M O N O. T O N O U S. <laughs> That is correct. She's got it. Although I would have given you, I would have given you some like extra credit points if you got up and yelled it like that girl. Whoo, like, I blacked out about halfway through. I thought I heard like an R and a Z in there. It's like that. It's spell check. Maybe a niner. It was kind of about this. All right, you have you have two points right now. This is your last one. If you get this right, you get all three points, and I don't think we can get a steal here. So geography. What's capital? Florida. She's on her game. It's correct. <laughs> we like a smart woman. All right, it is that time. Steve, you had a chance to the games, get to know the bachelorettes. Now, we're not leaving it totally up to you. Unfortunately, we have a point system. These girls worked hard, so they have the final say. But you get to give somebody a little extra, a little extra love, a little piece of your heart. So... A little bling bling is basically what A little what bling saying. bling, basically. So, which girl do you think is going to get the VIP? Bachelorette number one? Audience, what do you think? <laughs> Bachelorette number two? <laughs> Bachelorette number three? <laughs> Have you made a decision on who's going to get your little piece of your heart? Or you can use a lifeline if you would like to call mom. If <laughs> Well, I ran a past mom earlier. She said, you know, be be careful with your heart. 
So can't hurry love. Yeah. Just have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Or so you this should is, stop. In the name of love. This is pretty serious stuff here. I don't know if you saw this, ladies. This is. <laughs> you don't mess around with this, so. All right, take it up and give it up. Go, go, give your heart. Give your heart away. I don't know. This is tough. You ladies all play well, but I think one dominated. So I have to give my VIP Thanks. pass. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Number four. I feel like this is great. Did you guys meet on Match.com earlier? What's going on? Here? Lovely. Well, that's all sweet and well, but it doesn't end the game. It's not really Steve's pick at the end of the day. So we're going to calculate the points, and we're going to figure out who is going home right now. We're sending, kicking someone off the island. Audience? Number one, step it up. Number three, you've been down the dog. Number three. Hello. 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 Number two, it has been lovely having <laughs> having you, but the points don't lie, and we even still have the seal on you. So I'm sorry, unfortunately, you're, you're in the negative. To step out. <laughs> Can that even happen? <laughs> Thank you so Goodbye, much. That's number two. <laughs> All right, we have one last epic battle. This is the battle for my love, which is really perceived love. This is worth three points, and this could be a game changer, ladies. So I'm gonna have to ask you both to stand up, come in the middle here. In a rap style battle, the contestants must drop their best freestyle about The Bachelor. You're each gonna have 30 seconds to do so. This is worth three points. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And You're we're having gonna, an NFC breakdown. Can we get a beat? Can we get a beat? Oh, up in there? Nice. Shout out DJ J. All right, so let's 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 give them All right. a little. Who do you want to go first, Steve? We'll start with number one. Number one. That's right. Number one. You're gonna have to go first. Straight beat. So let's open up next. Okay. All right. Steve is awesome. He's What's really up? cool. I can't wait to go on a date and we will have lots of fun and go to a party and I'm really smart and then we'll go to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It always ends up at a bar, doesn't it? Always. Yeah. Always. Or in bed in number two space. <laughs> How did she lose in bed? I don't know. All right. Gotcha. Right. I think I know. Okay. Betty? Can you guys clap for me? Oh, oh, get it up, get it up, audience. That away. Where's DJ Clue? Where is he? <laughs> Yo, Steve C, I'm Bachelor number three. It's you and me. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that's all I got. I think that's all you need, to be honest with you. All right, all right. Please, ladies, drop it a beat. Step outside the box. All right, audience. Help. We got two girls, we got three boys at the end of the game. It's, it's game time. <laughs> and, you know what? They're, they're sound a they're sounding all the time. She started it with a yo. You so automatically one, win with a know. yo. I need to know which one. <laughs> So we're going to swag over still your heart. No warm and fuzzy. This is a tough crowd. They do not like warm and fuzzy. They are whips and chains, okay? They're trying to get you home in the bed. <laughs> All right, well, the audience is looking like we're going for number three. Bachelorette number three? She's no G unit, but she's. <laughs> She had enough. <laughs> All right, bachelor at number three. Now I'm gonna find out what the scores are, but I have a feeling. <laughs> it's gotta be bachelor at number one, right? <laughs> it's, it's, sorry, bachelor at number three. 
And it is official bachelorette number three. You are our winner, oh, bachelorette number one. Figure. Thank you Thanks so much for coming. playing. Good Work night. on your rides. Good hustle, Come back Beth. next time. All right. Well, we have made another date. We've what? done it again. Yes. He gave her her heart. She accepted. Aww. And Aww. now we have some glorious right, prizes. The winner gets, the winners, they get a bottle of Ciroc. And they'll also get a little day pass to Sunday's Tanning Spa. Awesome, thank you. Nice. Nice. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out between you and Steve, then you come on over my way. <laughs> thank you. There you go. Yeah. Nice. It does yeah. always end up with at the bar. Thank you, Sarah. I know. We're going to go to the other All right. All right, you two get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Go get to know each other. Thank you. Save me a drink. Save us both a drink. Where are our prizes, Matt Lundy? We don't get prizes. Your prizes are getting a few with me right now. Oh, don't get used to it. Maybe we should make a date. That's not going to happen. Yeah. You should be down. <laughs> All right, well, this has been Date Makers. We've had a great time. We made a love connection. Thank you for being with us. I'm Kate. And I'm Matt. And let's make you a date. See you next time. Bye. Is that Kate? I think the Courtney match is good. I think uh, I think she really did well in the contest. She just ran away with it, and uh, I'm excited about it. You know, she, her rap wasn't that good, but she had a the clap, and uh, she did have a little bit of thought into it. Um, I'm excited. I think she, she she nailed it with the rock climbing question. And she's got them long legs, so I'm going with the long legs. <laughs> nice bonus points right there. So it's a lot of fun, and I think the right girl won. I had a great time. I think Steve's a really good guy. Um, I had a lot of fun with the questions. Uh, it was my first time rapping, so, you know, like conquering some fears of mine. Um, and I'm excited. I can't wait to go on a date.